Station 1. The birth of John the Baptist foretold. According to Luke at the first chapter. Now in the time of Herod king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abihai. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. Once when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time for the burning of the incense came, all the assembled worshipers were praying outside. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zacharias saw him, he was greatly startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel of the Lord said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine nor any other kind of fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah and turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I'm an old man. My wife is old and we're very long in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have seen and have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent, and you will not be able to speak until the day of all this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. And meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them, and it was then that they realized that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but he remained unable to speak. When his time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant, and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace from amongst the people. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And now bow your head in a word of prayer. Lord God, our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your Son, Jesus Christ, proclaiming him to be the promised Messiah, the very Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, and calling sinners to repentance that they might escape from the wrath which is to be revealed when he comes again in his glory. Lord, we pray that you will keep our hearts and minds strong in this true faith, rejoicing in the now of the current advent of our Lord with the expectation and longing for his second advent. We pray this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now let us continue with our hymn meditation. And the first hymn that we will be looking at is number 331 in the Lutheran Service Book. I encourage you to follow along. Number 331, The Advent of Our King.
our second hymn to meditate upon is number 347, Comfort, Comfort Ye My People. <laughs> 